So what the title of this video is really asking is, is there still opportunity to grow a YouTube channel today in 2023? And the answer to that is yes. For context, I work for a YouTuber and we teach people how to be successful on YouTube as well. So I do know a bit about this stuff. And if you're just trying to find the answer to that question, is there opportunity still on YouTube? Then the answer is very much yes. Every single day, small YouTube channels blow up. And we're gonna talk more about that later in the video, but there's a more important question, which is, is it worth you starting a YouTube channel today? And the answer to that question is, it depends. For most people, the answer is probably it's not worth it because you have to put in a lot of time it takes a while and you might look stupid on camera and lots of people are worried about all of those things so if you're in that category then this video is not for you you can stop watching now it's also not worth it if you're trying to make lots of money and get lots of followers really quickly so if you're in either of those two categories then you can stop watching it's probably not worth you starting a youtube channel but there are two cases in which it is worth starting a youtube channel so the first is if you don't care about results i.e., you don't care about growing the channel but you do care about having fun learning lots of new skills, making connections, building a portfolio of creative work, and going through a lot of personal growth. Because making videos and growing a YouTube channel is very time consuming and it can be very frustrating and very difficult. So you have to be willing to have fun with it, enjoy it, learn about lots of different things, take it as it comes and not expect too much from it. So that's one reason why you might wanna start. And the other reason is if you want to treat it more like a business. So if you are trying to make some money from your YouTube channel and you're willing not to see any financial returns for at least a year, but you're gonna treat it like a business and you're gonna approach it methodically and learn specific skills and have a deliberate approach to YouTube and want to make money down the line, then it also is worth starting a YouTube channel. For context, I'm defining YouTube channel as somewhere where you post semi-regularly, i.e. at least once a month or more, because uh, there are exceptions to this, but in general, if you're posting like once every six months, you're probably not gonna grow your YouTube channel and you're more just treating it as somewhere to keep videos. But let's go a bit deeper. So in this video, we're gonna talk about YouTube in 2023, why you shouldn't start a channel, why you should start a channel, how your niche affects things, how long it will take, to grow your YouTube channel and then finish with my advice on whether you should start a YouTube channel or not, which would apply to anyone watching. So YouTube in 2023 is very different to five years ago to 10 years ago. Naturally, the platform evolves. It's become more popular. More people try and post videos. More tr people try and become YouTubers. There's all sorts of statistics about how the number one job young people want to have when they grow up is to become a YouTuber. And it's hard to find accurate data on this, but there are 2.6 billion active users on YouTube. So people using the platform regularly and then around 100 million channels where people have posted content. But it feels like YouTube has become extremely saturated and it has. There are so many different channels and there are so many competitive channels all trying to do similar things. And so it is difficult to grow a YouTube channel. But how do we know there's still opportunity? And the answer to that is just because there is new channels grow every single day. But the thing that people don't understand is that they think you can get 100,000 subscribers or a million subscribers in a very short space of time. But the thing is, it always takes a long time. It's very, very difficult to get 100,000 subscribers in six months to a year. So that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about, is it worth it for you individually to start a channel? When I started this channel in October, 2021, I thought I'd missed the boat. I thought it was too late. I thought YouTube was saturated and I still managed to uh, get quite a few subscribers, about 5,000 subscribers now. And I also managed to get a video that hit 200,000 views and there's opportunity. It's just, you know, I have to learn, understand how YouTube works and and the things that matter and slowly get better over time and also just post regularly for a long period of time so the formula to success on YouTube in 2023 is make lots of good videos. That is the formula, there is no shortcut. YouTube is just trying to serve up videos to viewers that it thinks they will enjoy. So if you make a video that lots of people want to watch, YouTube will find those people for you. So the whole 2023 piece is kind of irrelevant. It felt the same two years ago, it felt the same two years before that. YouTube's been popular for ages, it's a very mature platform, uh, but there is still a lot of, lot of opportunity and new, new viewers are still coming to the platform as well. So there is space to grow if you are willing to put in the time and effort. But why shouldn't you start our YouTube channel. Well, it's kind of obvious, but there are loads of reasons. If you don't want to put in any time into it, if you don't want to put that much effort into it, if you don't want to put that much money into it, you don't have to put that much money, but spending money can make things easier and save you time. And if you don't want to be frustrated, if you don't want to deal with uncertainty, if you don't want to do things and not get any reward for a potentially uh, a period of a few months or even up to a year, then it's probably not worth it. If you're not going to have fun with it and enjoy it and it's all just gonna be a draining process for you, if you think it will be, then it's probably not worth starting. But there are so many reasons why you should. And I think the most compelling reason why you should start a YouTube channel is just to have fun, to experiment, to explore, to grow a portfolio of interesting work and to try, test yourself and challenge yourself creatively to talk about things that you're interested in or to make things that you're interested in. You don't actually have to make talking head videos like the one I'm making. You could record yourself doing all sorts of things 
you could make a channel without your face and uh, do a voiceover of something and talking about something that you're interested in. I think it is an exceptionally valuable thing to do just for your personal growth. That sounds super cliche, but I do believe that because it just tests you in so many different areas and I think that is the most compelling reason to start a YouTube channel. But the more common reason to start a YouTube channel is to make money and to get some kind of status if you have you know, a lot, lots of subscribers. And those are probably the wrong reasons to start because you're setting yourself up for failure because you are doing it with the expectation of something else in return and it takes a while on YouTube. So if you're willing to delay that for quite a while, then uh, potentially you can uh, work towards earning some money from it, but it is difficult. If you're approaching it like a business and you understand that it's difficult and you understand that it might take a while to have some kind of return, then it is different and you can try to be unemotional about it. But if it's a personal channel and you're trying to grow it, it can be draining. So trying to make money and get as many subscribers as possible is potentially the wrong approach. So how does your niche affect things? And your niche is the types of videos that you make and the audience that watches your videos. So if you're making videos for a very small uh, audience, like for example, podcast hosts or podcast interviewers, and you're making videos about podcasting gear, podcasting sponsorships, how to grow your podcast and how to get guests on your podcast, then you're appealing to quite a small audience. So your channel might only grow to a certain size and it might grow quite slowly. The advantage of doing that is that you're competing with fewer people. So there are fewer YouTube channels out there making videos specifically for podcast hosts. So your videos might get suggested more frequently to podcast hosts because there are uh, there's a smaller supply of that type of content but if you are making videos like uh, side hustles for teenagers then that is a more broad topic more people are going to be interested in it and the potential of the video is a lot bigger because it can get suggested to more people however you are competing with a huge number of videos in that space because they are appealing to more people then more, more people will make them because they know that they can get more views so there is this trade-off but the general advice is have a specific niche to start with aiming your videos at a specific viewer and over time expand your content as your channel grows but for you as an individual you either don't have an idea of what your niche would be or you kind of do but aren't really sure about it and so the answer is don't overthink it and just start making videos your niche does affect things but it's something that you can figure out as you go and you can always make your content appeal to more people so how long does it take to grow a YouTube channel? Well, it's obviously a big question, but there is some data behind it. It's kind of confusing because people obviously post videos at different rates and they talk about different things and they come back to it over several years. And so the data is kind of skewed, but generally a good principle is that if you upload a video a week over six to 12 months, you will probably hit the uh, requirements for monetization, which is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. So over a year, essentially, if you make a video a week, you'll probably start earning a small amount of money from your YouTube videos. I would say then after two years, you'll probably be somewhere in the 10,000 to 100,000 subscriber range. It's obviously a big general statement. It's not true for everyone. I'm hoping to get into that bracket this year, but we'll see how that goes. If you're interested how much money you can earn on YouTube, I made a video about uh, my first year and how much I earned. Uh, which you can click and you can click on that video here. But to answer the question, is it worth starting a YouTube channel in 2023? Well, my advice would be start a channel and commit to a minimum number of videos, like three or five, and treat it as an experiment. You don't have to go all in and start making YouTube videos, 50 videos, 100 videos, before you even know if you enjoy the process. There is still opportunity to grow a YouTube channel. And if you know how to make videos, then you're a lot further ahead than most people. But if you don't, then just start making videos about whatever it is you might want to make videos about and commit to at least three or five or 10, and then make a decision after that about whether it is worth pursuing. YouTube is a great way to earn some extra money, potentially start a business, and to build a bit of a personal brand online, but it is difficult and it does take time. So there are lots of uh, nuances to this question, but I hope I have cleared some of it up. As I said, if you wanna know how much I earned my first year on YouTube, then click on this video here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.